Today we have the Vic Tech Mini DisplayPort Adapter with DVI, HDMI, and VGA. This is DisplayPort 1.2. We'll unbox it. We'll try it with our Surface Pro 3 and a couple of monitors to see how it works. So let's go ahead and unbox it. All right, so first things first is take a look over the packaging that it comes in. It's just like in a nice plastic envelope. Got this from Amazon. It's about $15. Pop it out. All right, not much in the way of instructions. Not that you really need instructions. All right, take a look at the unit. There's a cap over our display port. Okay, and this is you know compatible with Thunderbolt. We're going to try it on a Surface Pro 3, but it should also be compatible with several different Macs as well. Rip this off. All right. So if you look at the body, it's like a plastic body, similar to the Wii that we reviewed earlier. Now the Wii had a DisplayPort, DVI, and HDMI, whereas this one, the Victec, has DVI. HDMI, which is 4K or 2K, and VGA. All right, and this is DisplayPort 1.2. See, we have the screw holes for our VGA, as well as screw holes for the DVI if you'd like to, you know, screw those in. All right, so that's really all for the unit. Let's go ahead and try it out with our Surface Pro 3. Okay, so here we have our mini DisplayPort adapter, our Vic Tech, and there's our Surface Pro 3. First, we're going to try it with this monitor right here. We're going to be trying it with DVI first. Take a look at the cable. You'll notice that it's the type of cable that has all of the pins. Sometimes you'll find these cables that have like some of the pins not in the center. You're probably going to need all the pins. If you watched the previous video about our Wemi adapter, you would see that using a cable that doesn't have all the pins does not, does not usually work with an adapter. But just letting you know, this is what the cable looks like. Okay, so first we'll plug in our adapter to our Surface Pro 3. All right, so now it's plugged in. And if you know anything about the Surface Pro 3, you'll know that it is sort of curved on the edges. So you can see how that slides into the Surface and how it shows just a little bit, but it is fully connected. Microsoft does sell a mini DisplayPort adapter, which is one head for $50. This was about $14 and has three different heads. Okay, so it's fully in there, but that's what it's gonna look like when it's in there. And now we'll plug in our DVI cable here. It's like so. And hopefully you heard that tone. And hopefully you can see over there that it does indeed work. Okay, so this is currently set up to be a different monitor. As you can see, when I get towards this edge here, we go over to the next monitor. So we could come in here. As you can see, it's not duplicating. I'm going to the start screen from here as well. Go into settings and we can go in here to system and you can see how these monitors are currently set up. The surface is one, this is two. Of course we can orient them differently. So maybe we want this screen here to be on top, right? That would make more sense if we hit apply. Then I could take my cursor up and then I scroll through to the next monitor. Okay, other things we can change, of course, is, uh, you know, the scaling on each monitor. And of course, right now it's on extend these displays. I could change this to say duplicate or show only on one or show only on two. I'll go to duplicate these displays and we'll just hit apply there. We'll keep it. So now these are duplicated. Whatever's on the surface will be on our monitor. We know that DVI works, so now let's go ahead and try HDMI on this monitor. Okay, so here's our HDMI cable for this monitor here. And of course, we'll plug that into the HDMI port on our VicTech mini DisplayPort adapter here. And of course, I have to switch the mode on the monitor. So as you can see, this works as well. Again, we're still in the duplicate mode. As you can tell, whenever, whenever I move around here, I move around on that monitor as well. We could come into settings and go to system and right here into display. And of course we can change this around. Maybe we want to extend these th displays here and apply that. Now we have two separate displays. All right. As you can see, when I get to the top, I go right through to my next monitor and that's because of how they are structured here. If I had them to the side, then I'd have to go out the side to the next monitor. Or if I had it on this side, 
you know, hopefully you get the idea of how that works, of how positioning your monitors works. Okay, so everything works with this Victec, although we haven't tried VGA. So what do you say we try VGA real quick here? All right, so I actually managed to find a cable I had on hand, the right type of cable. As you can see, this is what you'll need. One end to plug into your monitor and one end to plug into the adapter here, okay? So this is double male VGA cable. All right, so we have one end of our VGA cable plugged into our monitor here. So now we'll go ahead and plug this into the VGA port on our VicTech DP 1.2 a mini display port adapter right here. Okay, now I'm going to have to switch the mode. Right now it's on HDMI, and there we go. All right, so as you can see, it's working. VGA is working, HDMI worked, DVI worked, everything worked here on our mini display port adapter. And of course, we you know we still have all the same options of coming into settings and going to uh, system and into display and changing that around to say duplicate or extend these displays. All right, that's pretty much it, but I do want to test one other thing real quick. Now we have our Surface Pro 3 in the Surface Pro 3 dock, and we'll plug in our mini DisplayPort adapter here onto the mini DisplayPort adapter on the dock instead of the one on the uh, Surface itself. So we'll just see if this works with HDMI real quick. And let's go ahead and plug in the HDMI. And of course you need to plug in your dock to a power supply as well. You can't just plug it into the dock without the dock being plugged in. But there we go. Hopefully you can see that that works as well. All right. So right there's our cursor on that screen and bring it down and now it's on the screen. All right, so it's working. The DisplayPort, mini DisplayPort adapter is working on our dock and on our Service Pro 3. Now one cool thing you can do, this is not really about this DisplayPort. This is just a little extra. One cool thing you can do with the Surface Pro 3 with the dock is, you know, because we have that display port on our dock and a display port here on our Surface, we can actually use another display port adapter directly on the Surface. Now, th it doesn't have to be this one. It could be two of these. It could be whatever you want. All right. And then, hopefully you heard that. And now the screen over here is coming up as well. So now we have two screens, two external screens, two external monitors, and plus the monitor of our Surface. And these should be independent. Actually, I have to go in here and check down here in our settings. Once again, system. And as you can see, they all three, hopefully you can see that, let me zoom in. And as you can see, they all three show up now. So one is the Surface, two is, I believe it's our HDMI, and three should be our DVI. And you can structure these out however you want, okay? And and you can do the same things that we did before, uh, you know, about extend or duplicate. So duplicate on one and two, duplicate on one and three, extend. All right, so you have options there. But it's pretty cool that you can actually use, you know, three displays on your Surface Pro 3. Again, not really much to do about this specific adapter, but uh, just something I wanted to mention about the Surface Pro 3. All right, so now for one final test, something that is actually not supported on our VicTech or our Wemi for that matter. But what we're going to do is plug in our DVI and our HDMI at the same time. Now, this adapter only supports one, uh, one adapter type at a time. You know, you can't use all three. But let's just see if we can get it to work. We actually got it to work on our Wemi. So you can go back and look at that video if you want. But let's try this out. I'll do the same procedure I use for the Wemi. I plug in the DVI first. All right, now we'll let that come up. You heard the tone. There's our monitor. And we have this plugged in directly to the surface as well. And then we'll plug in the HDMI and see if we can get this to come up. Okay, so that is not working on this adapter. Let's try one more thing. Pull that out. Now let's see if HDMI comes up. And then that was HDMI. So now we'll try DVI. and see what happens. Okay, then it switches to DVI and the HDMI drops out. So you can only use one at a time. You can't even trick it a little bit. It seems like we could the Wemi, which I have right here, which I guess I could show real quick. Let's pull that out. These are all plug and play. Nothing's gonna go wrong. Plug that in real quick. Let's just see if we can duplicate what we did last time. Pop this in here. 
All right, let that come up. It's kind of dropping out a little bit, but it is connected. And then we'll go HDMI over here. And there we go. So I just want to show you that is possible with the Wemi, but you know, we don't we don't get three displays with the Wemi. Again, this has nothing to do with the VicTech. This is just something I wanted to show you here that I did show in, in another video. You can see we only have two monitors. All right. So these two here are going to be linked no matter what. As you can see, we can go to extend and apply that. But but still, these two monitors here are linked. Hopefully you can see the cursor is moving exactly the same on these two monitors. Okay. So that's something you can do if you want. That's what the Wimi, as you can tell, it did not work with the VicTech. Okay. I'd go for this one just because it's a little more stable with DVI. If you know you're going to be using HDMI, either one will work. Again, this is $15. The Wimi is about $10. Actually, you know, just grab both of them because sometimes it is kind of cool to have two monitors that are sort of uh, linked together. It just looks, kind of, you know, it looks kind of cool if you're playing a video or something. All right, so that's pretty much it for the VicTech Mini DisplayPort adapter with DVI, HDMI, and VGA. Also, it's DisplayPort. 1.2 so that's better than 1.1 right all right go check it out about 15 bucks on amazon link will be below